Now, entering the arena, out of the milky depths, he's a bot with a taste for bad ass. It's Heatherhead! This 203 pound bot will definitely turn heads. Its hydraulic pump steers its articulating chassis through tight corners. But don't think the steel machine is built to run and hide. Get this way, and that pneumatic flavor will hammer you. And Hammerhead was built by Israel Matthewson. Israel is a computer technician and father of two, soon to be three, from the heart of logging country, Medford, Oregon. And he pulled the inspiration for his extremely maneuverable robot from the nimble logging vehicles that have the local forest. With Team Gray Matter, our robot is Hammerhead. It drives like a car, but it's built like a tank. And his opponent, ready to shred some serious metal. This bot's built to slap the sense in his competition. It's Oh, Lightwave. I've heard of that. Brushing the scales at 188 pounds, mini grip features tank style steering and a gear ratio tailor made for ultimate pushing power. The steel bulldozer blade will take on all covers, and any who get nasty will get a slug upside the head gasket with mini rip's 10 inch hammer disc that spins at 2300 RPM. And mini rip's friend master is Chris Hamill. Chris is a computer support technician from North Carolina, but more than that, he's a former robotic competitor. After a poor showing in season one, he's back with a brand new bot and his score to settle. We're lightweight robotics. We've got mini rip coming up. We're going to do the best we can with what we got. It's called the Gauntlet, and it makes boot camp look like Bam Camp. And here's how it works. Bust through the wood, pummel the cans, beat the bricks, and waste the blocks through the rubble. Then it's up the ramp and through the glass, and the gauntlet's yours. Before we turn our tiny Terminators loose, let's go down to our robotical science correspondent, Dan Degnick. Both these robots have powerful motors and ample ground clearance, but Mini Rip's plow is flat and not V-shaped, so it might collect too many paint cans and bricks, and he won't be able to move. Plus, driver Chris Hennel is not known to be bashful when it comes to speed, but he better guard against hitting these sand-filled cans too fast. Just one puncture, and the track is covered with sand. Hammerhead, meanwhile, with his big adjustable suspension, will have no trouble climbing over anything in his path. Thanks, Dan. Damn. It's not that time. Let's do it. Place 
Sir Ahmed is against that pillar, keeping Mini Rip from pushing him off the platform. Oh, he does the blow. Mini Rip smacks the pillar and Hammerhead goes right into the last one thing left. Strategy time, Ahmed. No one wants to break that last pain because it's too far away from the bonus spot. Mini Rip going for the knockout punch. He's underneath Hammerhead. The crowd cheering for it. Now Hammerhead's free. Oh, and he breaks the glass. Mini Rip's got position, but he goes in for the